I need this. I don't have enough strain with that paternity suit. I need to stay up all night. Bob, Bert and Mary haven't even seen each other in days. They miss each other. They're animals. <laughs> An idiot. <laughs> Can you believe this? What is he on? Some kind of drugs? What do you want for breakfast? You. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> breakfast. The usual. I'll have the usual. But you eat something different every day. Oh, uh, that's what I mean. I'll have a little bit of everything. Hi. Pervert. Hi, Dad. Hi. You know something? You remind me of my brother. You don't have a brother. Oh, uh. Well, no, I meant my fraternity brother. He reminds me of my fraternity brother. <laughs> You were in a fraternity? Oh, yeah, sure. All the popular guys were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you didn't go to college. Well, well, it wasn't a college fraternity. It was a construction fraternity. <laughs> Good God, what is that? The toaster. Right. Toaster. Makes hot dry bread. Thank you. Mary. Hi. Oh, Bert, you're home. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Welcome home, Bert. Hi, Mary. Hi, Don. Uh, hubba, hubba. Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> so what's happening with Billy? Have you heard anything? No, not yet. They're all hiding out as Negroes until it gets dark. <laughs> and Chester, by the way, looks wonderful as a Negro. It, it goes so well with his hair. <laughs> It's a wonder she doesn't tip over. She can fall on me any time. She's a cute little guy. Have you heard from Danny? Danny? Mm. My stepson from my wife's first marriage. No, but I have to assume he's okay. I mean, we checked with the police, the hospitals, and the morgue. Uh, Mary. Uh, do you have any plans for after breakfast? Yes. Do they include getting naked? No, they don't. Come on, just a little bit. Come on. Okay, go to work. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. But, uh, get some rest. I'm coming home for lunch. Mm. Mm. Bye, Bert. Bye, Jess. <laughs> My goodness, Bert's very exuberant this morning. Jessica, I don't know what's come over him. What do you mean? Uh, he is a completely different lover. We have been up all night long. Well, Mary, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. <laughs> no, Jessica, I mean he has become incredible. Mm -hmm. oh, Bert was always a nice lover. Pleasant, reliable. <laughs> sort of like Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park. You know when it's going to be. You know what it's going to be. You know how long it's going to be. And sometimes you wonder what the big attraction is. I know. That's why I never went there. That and the bears. Were there bears there, Mary, when you went there? I never went there, Jessica. Really? Because you seem to know so much about it. Well, I would love to stay and hear all about Yosemite, but I'm just so nervous about the rescue. I think I'd feel better if I were at home waiting. Would you like to come over later today and visit? Oh, not today. I've got to get some sleep. 
Bert's coming home for lunch. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Yes, then you can tell me all about your trip. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Slow down, your steps are too big. Some of her legs, pal. Gonna be things to the All right, through that door. Hey, come on, guys. No, listen, I, come on, listen, I can't. Listen, you don't understand. My wife's really, she really gets very upset. Hey, pal, hey, I'm entitled to one phone call, you know. The bunker on the bottom belongs to me. Oh. Also, the front of the closet belongs to me. Good, right. And in the morning, I'm the first one in the bedroom. No, I don't care. I'm Saul. Bert, how long you been here? 4,000 years. You looking good? I never eat salty foods. Yeah, no, I, 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 how long have you been here? 4,000 years. Hey, uh, but Saul, hey, Saul. I swear. Listen, when they captured you, they didn't tell you they're going to let you go soon? Yeah? They have no concept of time. They say, wait a second, two or three centuries whiz by whoop. <laughs> Fortunately, no one gets older here. No one gets older. What do you mean, no one gets older here? Look, look at me. Look at me. I'm 4,064 years old. What do you think I owe it to a terrific moisturizer? I don't understand. I mean, what do they want us for? What were you doing when they captured you? I was a writer. I was collaborating on the Bible. Bible? Exodus. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't write Exodus. Oh. Hey, I saw Exodus. Otto Preminger wrote it. <laughs> Okay, no, listen, it was, it was Eve Marie Saint and Sal Minio. What I... are you talking about Sal Minio? I'm talking about Exodus, the real McCoy, Moses. <laughs> Moses? Yeah, Moses. <laughs> oh, right, well, listen, uh, uh, Saul, excuse me, but I gotta get going because my wife's gonna be worried sick. Your wife? I told my wife I was going out for some camels. That was 4,000 years ago. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. Excuse me, Saul. Uh, you guys got anything in the way of a single room? Come on, Bobby. Bye. You think I'm crazy. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> uh, you're perfectly sane, a 4,000-year-old man who knew Moses. <laughs> I didn't know Moses. <laughs> My wife was two years behind him in school. <laughs> this is terrific. I'm in outer space with a lunatic. Mm, yeah, yeah, the lunatic. The lesson, the lesson Although I am known for my delightful sense of humor, this is no joke. They captured me just like they captured you. I am not a lunatic. They are a very advanced people. You saw how they bimmed you up. Well, they abolished aging. Sometimes I wish I was a lunatic and then this wouldn't be real and we would stand a chance. Yeah, well, I'm not staying here, pal. I'm going to escape. But I've been trying to escape for 4,000 years. No one has ever gotten away from here. No one ever. You might as well relax, boy. You're here to stay forever. Mm -hmm.